Hi, Elrigo Namaste. Today I am going to talk on the topic of uh, null results of uh, Michelson Morley experiment. You know that we are discussed in the last class null result is nothing but a negative results. Negative result. This is this is the outcome of the Michelson Morley experiment. So here in the last class. In the theory of the Michelson Morley experiment, we have got the final expression n is equal to 2L V square upon lambda C Q. This is the final expression what we have got in the Michelson experimental uh, during the uh, simplification of theory. Where n is the number of fringes which are going to displacement takes place by the particular mark. Here L is the optical path length of the light beam 192 that is equal to here taken in the Michelson experiment, Michelson Morley experiment they have taken 10 meter. V is the velocity of the earth through the stationary ether that is 3 into 10 raised to 8, 10 raised to sorry plus 4 meter per second where lambda is the wavelength of light used here. 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 meter and in addition to this where c is the velocity of light its value is universal value that is equal to 3 into 10 raised to plus 8 meter per second. When these values keep in this equation in the in this expression we have got according to theoretically from the Michelson Morley experiment n is equal to 0.37 which is nearly equal to 0.4 this much this much of fringes which are going to shift by the particular mark according to theoretically but in their operators but experimentally they have got 0 that means null results of the Michelson Mugler experiment based on this whenever get when we get the n is equal to 0 based on this they suggested that by the null results of Michelson Morley experiment we are impossible to find impossible to find the velocity of the earth through the stationary ether by the null results so this null results explained by the many theories the first theory that is ether drag hypothesis according to this theory ether is attached to the to all the bodies of finite mass moving through it it here ether is carried or ether is dragged by the objects whenever earth moves through the ether media that means ether wind or ether is dragged or ether is carried by the earth its own velocity. Hence, there is no relation. Hence, there is no relation between, there is no relative motion between earth and ether. Hence, no frame shift. Second hypothesis is Lorenzo contraction. According to Lorenzo contraction hypothesis, the dimension of the object the magnitude of the object which is going to contract it or a short term by the factor square root of 1 minus v square by c square in the direction parallel to the relative velocity or parallel to the stationary ether media. That means here the according to Lorenzo contraction hypothesis the dimension of the moving object which is going to contract it. So in the Michelson Morley experiment The distance travelled by the B1 is not L, this is not an optical path length L, but, but it is a product of L into this is the Lorenzo factor, Lorenzo dimension contracted factor. Therefore, this is always less than L, this is always less than L. So, there is no time difference between the what actually the mutually uh, perpendicular waves here. Therefore, the time difference is 0 and no fringe shift. In third hypothesis, third theory which is 
ether is does not exist so there is no absolute motion relative to the ether hence finally the quote as a all motion is a relative another thing here the velocity of a light is invariant that means the speed of the light is same for all inertial observers and finally the albert einstein said ether if it is existed if it is existed it is undetectable yes these are the important theories which which are explain the null results of michelson morley experiment thank you thank you very much